Hi little angels, Miss Missy here again. Today we're joining you outside in my backyard. And on Monday, we read some stories in the Bible about Jesus. So today I thought we would talk about the same kind of story, but in a different way. We're going to use Easter eggs to Yay! tell our story today. And each egg has a part of the story. So we're going to start with Savannah, and she's going to find egg number one. Can you find egg number one? It's right there. Let's Savannah. look at the eggs and look at the numbers. Can you find number Hi, one? Mom. There's it's number, number one. one. Now open it and see what's inside. <laughs> now a lot of times when you go hunting for Easter eggs, you find candy inside your eggs, right? Yeah. This time, All the money. We're finding a oh, money. Yeah. This time we're finding a story. And the first part of our story says donkey. Donkey? And it says, they brought the donkey and the colt. They placed their coats on them. Then Jesus sat on the coats. A very large crowd spread their coats on the road. Others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. It's purple. It is purple. Okay, so that was our first part of the story. Now, Matthew, can you find egg number two? Egg number two. He found a green egg with the next part of our story. And if you open it up. Oh, it's so big. If you open it up, there'll be a picture on it that'll tell us what the next it's part so of big. our story is about. It's so big. It is big. It has to fit a lot of words on it. How does it need to fit a lot of words? Okay, so so big. Oh, so there's a picture of coins, silver coins. And it says, One of the twelve went to the chief priests. His name was Judas Iscariot. He asked, What will you give me if I hand Jesus over to you? So they counted out thirty silver coins for him. From then on, Judas watched for the right time to hand Jesus over to them. Now Isaac's going to find number three. First one you picked up. All right, so you're gonna open it, and inside there's gonna be a picture on there to tell us a little bit about what the next part of our story is. So it's a cup, it's a Passover cup. It says, when evening came, Jesus was at the table with the 12. Then he took the cup. He gave thanks and handed it to them. He said, all of you drink from it. This is my blood of the new covenant. It is poured out to forgive the sins of many. So now we're back to Savannah, and you need to find egg number four. Oh, yeah. There it is, an orange egg with the number four. Oh, so you know, big. You wanna, you it's wanna big. You want to open the paper, and yeah. there's going to be another picture to That's tell big. us what our next part of the story yeah, it's is. so big. Do you need some help opening it? No. You got it. Ooh. So big. Yeah. It's almost there. Yeah. One Call more you unfold. All Call right. you and there's a picture of what? Hands. Oh, hands. Praying hands. And it says, okay, let go so I can read it. Jesus and his disciples went to a place called Gethsemane. Jesus said to them, sit here while I pray. He went a little farther, then he fell to the ground. He prayed that, if possible, the hour might pass by him. Abba, he said. Abba means Father. Everything is possible for you. Take this cup of suffering away from me, but let what you want be done, not what I want. All right, so now we're on number five. Matthew's turn to find egg number five. Okay, find number five. I don't know what five. It, it's five. That's eight. This five? I bet you know what a five looks like if That's you see nine. it. Nope. That's a five. That's a five. So a blue egg with the number five on it. And yeah, let's see. Big. Okay, yeah, unfold it. And let's it's see big. what picture is going to tell us about the next part of our story. It's big. One more to go. Then it's big. Hmm. You see big. a picture of? Egg. 
a leather whip. I don't know why I this. Then what should I do with the one you call the king of the Jews? Pilate asked them. Crucify him, the crowd shouted. Why? What has he done wrong? Asked Pilate. But they shouted even louder, crucify him. Pilate wanted to satisfy the crowd, so he let Barabbas go free. He ordered that Jesus be whipped. Then he handed him over to be nailed on a cross. Number six. Isaac's turn to find egg number six. I did this there. Number six. He found a yellow egg with the number six. Nine. Open it up for us and see what our next part of the story is. Yeah, it's big. Unfold it. See? What picture is on this next piece of paper? I don't know. Oh, this is blue. A crown of thorns. Then they twisted thorns together to make a crown. They placed it on his head. They put a stick in his right hand. Then they fell on their knees in front of him and made fun of him. We honor you, king of the Jews, they said. All right, we're on to number seven, back to Savannah. Can you find number seven? That's number seven, There's another more. purple one. Look at that. All right, so unfold I it know what's and it's see what the seven. next part of our story is. Yeah, they were big pieces of paper to fold up and get in those tiny little eggs. Yeah. All right. You are a little tiny hard to get in there. All right, so what is the picture on this one? That is a nail, the nail that goes in the cross. Finally, Pilate handed Jesus over to them to be nailed to a cross. Jesus is nailed to a cross, so the soldiers took charge of Jesus. He had to carry his own cross. He went out to a place called the Skull. There, they nailed Jesus to the cross. All right, now we're on to number eight. Can we go over a little bit? Okay, so Matthew, find number it. eight. That's 11. That's eight. Number eight. A blue egg with the number eight on it. That's the old map of Africa. Yeah, it is big. <laughs> really it at. is big. All right, keep unfolding to see it's what big, we can find little. in the number eight. Oh, take that toe. Okay, keep unfolding. Do you need some help? No, I'm lining it up. Put the eggs. Line it up. Alright, we're just going to hey, leave them around. Hey, little angels! Hey, little angels! See this? Okay, one more unfold. <laughs> and we're going to see a picture of. Little angels! See this? Dice it! Dice, dice for gambling. They gamble. Yeah, when they had dice. nailed him to the cross, they divide up his clothes by casting lots. I mean, they gambled for it. Okay, so th well, that was number eight, right? And now we're on to number nine. Isaac find, yeah. found number nine on a pink egg. <laughs> He's cracking it open. He found another part of our story. <laughs> yeah. He found a pink egg. Yeah. All right, and on that is a picture of... It's a soldier's spear. It's very sharp. When they came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead. So they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers stuck his spear into Jesus' side. Right away, blood and water flowed out. All right, so now we're on number 10, our last three eggs. Savannah, do you know which one says number 10? That's right. Green egg. We're getting down to the last part of our story here. Keep unfolding. That's okay. Like this. Okay, one more and we'll get to that is linen wrapping, like a cloth that you would wrap a body in. Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth. He placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of the rock. Alright, so Matthew, 
The last egg for you is number 11. Do you know which one says 11? The bed! Don't! Don't! Okay, alright. You pick number 11. Alright, the orange egg says 11. I think it's the last yellow. Alright, unfold the paper and see what the next part of our story is. We're almost finished. I think it's a ball. Like a ball. It's a stone. A stone. He it. The Sabbath day was now over. It was dawn on the first day of the week. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a powerful earthquake. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven. The angel went to the tomb. He rolled back the stone and sat on it. All right. So Isaac, not hard to find. The last part of our story. Number 12. Okay. No, no, it's the circle. It's the circle. I like the circle. I don't know. I'll find it. I like purple. That's a hell. Alright, so here's the end of our story. The last part of our story. What's the picture? It's the empty tomb. The angel said to the women, don't be afraid. I know that you're looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen just as he said he would. Come and see the place where he was lying. Go quickly. Tell his disciples he has risen from the dead. He is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb. They were afraid, but they were filled with joy. They ran to tell the disciples. Yeah. So today, that's where our story ends. Our, okay, we're gonna we're gonna say a little prayer together. Can we do that? Can we pray together? Because we're so thankful that when Jesus was crucified, when he died, he did not stay dead. He is alive, and we're so very thankful that he is with us today. Right? So we're gonna say a little prayer. Do you wanna join us, Isaac? Okay. All right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving your only son for us to take our sins away. Thank you, Lord, that if we just believe in him and ask him into our hearts, he will be with us forever, and we have our future home in heaven. Thank you, Lord, for this day and for everyone watching, and I just pray that everyone have a, has a blessed day, a blessed week, and a blessed Easter. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us, little angels. Have a happy Easter. Bye.